What's up, YouTube? Leo Sheng here, host of the Extreme Fuel Fishing Channel. Today is June 6, 2016. It's been about five days since the last time I fished. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. If you follow me on Snapchat, you know what I'm talking about. I've been doing a lot of house renovations plus work, so I really, really didn't have the time to fish recently at all. So, you know, it is the end of the afternoon actually almost the end of the afternoon it's about 4 30 p.m right now i'm here at the penny pack creek in northeast philadelphia and we are going to do some fishing today so stay tuned and we will see what we will catch all righty so it's almost a given that i won't be able to catch a trout here today at the penny pack creek i mean you know the last stocking that they did was in april end of april and now it's beginning of June, right? So it's been more than 30 days since they last stocked the creek. So what I'm going to do, I just switched from my from my Johnson Minnow Spin to what I'm going to be using for the rest of the day, right? Which is the Aero Tackle Mummy Worm. You guys may be familiar with this because I did a review video for this product a little while back. If not, I'm linking the video above. This is how I'm going to use them, okay? One Mummy Worm on a size 12 hook okay with fluorocarbon line four pound test line with the tip of the hook exposed let's see if we can catch anything on this maybe there's nothing at all penny pack is kind of that oh fish on first fish of the day on our mummy worm right here <laughs> aero tackles mummy warm pink collar catching fish right here right there there you go that was the best part i get i get my lure back so i can use it again haha <laughs> ain't that neat bye bye fish fish on <laughs> all right whoa well all right as andrew flair would say catch and release right good stuff What we got here? What we got here? Second species of the day on the Aero Tackle Mummy Worm. I guess this video is going to turn out to be a micro fishing video. <laughs> we got here the green sunfish, Lepomis cyanellus. You see the blue rays here around its face, purple on the opercular flap, yellow on the anal, caudal, and dorsal fins. All indicators of green sunfish. All right, beautiful fish. Let's take a few photos and release it. All right, there we go. Just unhook the mummy worm. Let me see if I can release it down there for you guys so you guys can actually see this little fella swim away. Was that a frog? I think that was a frog. Ooh, we got a lot of mud here. So I just gotta throw this little fella in here. It would be nice if we could catch something different than some fish. What we got here? Oh, apparently there's a population of green sunfish right here. Check this out. We got another green sunfish, a little bit bigger this time. Two <laughs> red breast sunfish and green sunfish. All the members of the sunfish family right here. All the Lepomis, yeah? Bye bye, green sunfish. So for those who are not familiar, what I'm using right here, right, is the Aero Tackle mummified worm i'm using the pink collar mummified wax worm and you know i did a review on that video like i told you guys previously holy cow there's a koi there's a koi and some carp swimming right in front of me oh but those carp are not feeding that koi is not feeding either god damn there's a koi at the penny pack creek can you guys see it the koi the koi is right there swimming right there you see that that's a beauty anyways so I'm using the Euro Tackle mummy worms here fishing in the penny pack creek just catching a bunch of sunfish for now and for those who are not familiar right let me show you guys quickly show you guys here this is the Euro Tackle mummified worms if you guys want to get some I'm leaving the link in the description of the video 
you can use the opportunity use my code and get 10% off your whole order which is amazing per se and you know they work really well I can really catch a different range of fish on the stuff right now I'm in the penny pack right and as you guys see you know some green sunfish and some red breast sunfish but who knows what else am I going to pull for the end of the day right stay tuned Fish on. <laughs> oh boy, that's actually a pretty big red breast sunfish, you know? Not, not so bad, not so bad. But go where you belong, all right? Fish on. What we got here? Whoa! Species number three of the day. This is a beautiful pumpkin seed. Well, this may be my first ever pumpkin seed from the Penny Pack Creek. That's amazing. We got, we got the green sunfish, the red breast, and the pumpkin seed. We need only the bluegill now <laughs> to finish up the combo. Wow. All right, I got here the quick unhook done. Let's then let me try to release this pumpkin seed as nicely as possible for you guys to see. Here, ah, oh, this is the best that I can do. Top of the water. Oh yeah. <laughs> I left the mummy worm on top of the water and this red breast sunfish came for some top water action. I don't know if I got that on camera or not, but it was it was definitely worth it, you know? Go ahead, little fella. Oh, what we got here? Oh, oh, you don't say so. This is a bluegill. We have completed the superfecta man this is amazing we started with a red breast sunfish then we got a green sunfish then a pumpkin seed and now a bluegill <laughs> that's amazing folks amazing sunfish superfecta here on the aero tackles mummy worm fabulous the last time i really did one of these was at the chamonix creek so it's been a while you know i'm very happy that we were able to complete this today I gotta tell you fellas, life is really full of surprises. I came here to the penny pack today, <laughs> fished for about two hours, it is super hot, I'm sweaty, I've been beaten by a lot of bugs, a lot of mosquitoes, and never in my life I would have thought <laughs> that I would have completed a sunfish superfecta. In other words, you know, I caught a red breast sunfish, a pumpkin seed, a green sunfish, and a bluegill all from one body of water the last time that I did this was at the Nishamini Creek I'm linking the video above if you want to go watch it you know other than that you know nothing too excited going too exciting going on here at the penny pack today just a very hot day came here for short Ooh, fishing session I'm ready to call it a day you know tomorrow I'm going to LBI I'm going to be doing some surf fishing maybe some flounder maybe some dogfish Hopefully I'll be able to bring you guys some more footage in the near future. But for now, this is it for today, folks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tie lines and until next video, all right?